two, one. My name is Frederick Brindley and uh, I am an ex Royal Marine and with the Royal Marines we served aboard naval ships. And this particular ship I was on, it was an aircraft carrier after the war. And while we were in Sydney, Australia, they decided to convert the hangars into basic living quarters, which they did do. And how many did we bring back from Australia? 750 war brides. It was quite an event. The jetty in Sydney was absolutely packed with relations and decorations. And it, it, it was something I shall always remember. We set sail from Sydney and our first step was Western Australia, Fremantle, which is not very far from Perth in Australia. And from there on, various stops all the way until we got to Gibraltar and there it was quite an event for the, all the, the Gibraltar people. They, they, the women, they, they absolutely took over Gibraltar that day. <laughs> it was an event and after we left Gibraltar on we went to my hometown, Plymouth and we docked in Plymouth Sound and there we were met by the Lord Mayor of Plymouth and one of the most amusing things on the way back the uh, the fellas they they well <laughs> our, our skipper he, he used to see them up on the flight deck behind the gun turrets flirting with these women <laughs> and <laughs> He, he said, now I want you to understand that all these ladies are married women and I've seen you, I've seen you behind the gun turrets and I, I, I well, so you got the message. Yes. <laughs> and uh, anyway, after that, we, uh, well, what did we do then? Well, no, not apart from arriving in Plymouth and then they disembarked. Oh, one particular thing. The, when we arrived in Plymouth, the, these ladies, these ladies started crying. And what were they doing? They were crying to leave the naval fellows on board ship to go back to their own husbands. <laughs> Oh, good old days. <laughs>